Hello, everybody. This is Steve Grisetti, co-founder of MoviePicks.com and author of the MoviePicks.com Guide to CyberLink Power Director Ultimate. And here we are in CyberLink Power Director Ultimate, looking at some of the features you may not have immediately noticed in the program. Now, if you've dealt with titles at all, you've no doubt been to the titles room where there is a massive selection of titles. And of course, if you select all content, you can even go up to the free templates area, go up to the director zone, and you can download even more. There really is a huge library of titles, some very simple and some with some pretty elaborate designs and animation. But one you may not have noticed because it isn't technically in the titling area is something in the effects room. And that is under style effect, you'll find the option for text masking. Now there are four text masking titling effects and you can see what it looks like. If you look over here on the right, uh, you'll create your title and it will overlay a video and then it will travel either right to left, left to right, and you can control all of that. I'm going to select text blur and I'm going to drag it down onto the video clip that I have on video track one. And you can see what it does is that it blurs the background and then as we get further into the clip you'll be able to see the text it will be crystal clear. There, see it? And then the background will remain blurred and we'll read the text as it Let's just look at it. You can see how the text moves with clarity over the blurred background. I'm going to turn off the audio. We, know we don't need the audio for this particular piece, so I'll disable the audio on that timeline. There we go. But now I can customize this animation and the title itself in a variety of ways. So if I click to select the clip, with the effect applied to it and then click the effects button. It opens up the effects settings panel where I can do some great customization. Now you can see by default the word cyberlink is the title that is applied. We can of course change that to anything we want. I'm going to change that to Las Vegas since that's what my background is. That will change the text that moves from left to right across the screen. Now, I have options for scrolling left, scrolling right other uh, different scroll options but one thing I don't like is that it takes so long for the text to move across the screen so I'm going to change the font by clicking on this little T right here change the font from 162 down to about say 40 this 40 point font should move across the screen a little more quickly let's play it and see there it is, it's actually kind of small. Maybe I'll actually make it a little bigger. Let's make it more along the lines of 65. 65 point font, there we go. And I can control the contrast between foreground and background. That's how blurry the background is. Let's blur it up a little bit more to make our text stand out more. And the degree, there we go. And now you can see the how the text stands up off the background. If we choose one of the other scrolls, you'll see the text either repeated several times or just playing across the screen. But let's go ahead and play that and see how that looks. That could be very interesting. But there's a wide variety of ways you can customize how the text plays across your picture. Now, if we close this and go back out, you can see there are actually four different styles. One is the text sepia, in which the text comes out kind of yellowish over the background, and the background is a contrasted color. There's text sheer, in which the background is given sort of a, an effect, while the foreground is crystal clear, or the text is crystal clear. And then there's an x-ray sort of effect in which the background is given an odd or abstract color, and then the text in the foreground is crystal clear and you can actually see the scenery through it. So some very nice little titling effects that would give your movie a very unusual look to it and integrate the text right into the scenery that you're showing in your video. These are available again not on the titles panel or in the titles room but in the effects room listed under style effects text masking.
Well, now, if you want to know more about all the effects that are available in CyberLink Power Director, I hope you'll check out the many tips and tutorials we have at moviepicks.com. If you want to know everything about this program and all these wonderful hidden gems and tools, check out the moviepicks.com guide to CyberLink Power Director. That's available at amazon.com. I'm Steve. I'm the guy who wrote the book, and I hope to see you again real soon. Take care.